Okay, so now let's go ahead and add an outline to all of our existing shapes. Right now we just have rectangles and circles. So I'm going to start with my simple draw object and I'm going to add an optional outline property which will be a color. So let's say I want to have a green rectangle with a red outline and a blue circle with a yellow outline. So this is different and then this is going to just set context.strokeStyle equal and properties.outline and then in my rectangle shape we're going to say if and properties dot outline is not equal and defined then context dot stroke right and in circle dot shape fm properties dot outline not equal undefined will stroke. So let's go ahead and re reload. Right, so I have a red outline around my square and a yellow outline around my circle. Now you'll notice that I didn't have to mess with setting the stroke color in either my circle or my rectangle because they both inherited the draw method from the parent. So let's go ahead and add two more shape types. Let's go ahead and add a triangle shape. And I'll start by copying my rectangle shape. And I'll save that as triangle shape JS and then I'm going to find and replace rectangle with triangle so all of this is the same up to here now for a triangle um, basically I need to define three points so we'll do top X is going to be the just the X property and top Y is going to be M properties dot Y minus M properties dot height over two And then we need the, so that's the top. Then we need this point. Second x is this dot scale plus and properties dot width. And then the second y and properties dot y plus and properties dot height over two scale to height. And then the third x is going to be equal to basically that. Except we're going to subtract off. Should be plus half the width, and this should be minus half the width. 
And then the third y is just going to be equal to the second y. All right, so now we have all the points for our triangle. We're going to begin a path. And then we're going to move to top x, top y, and line to second x, second y, and then line to third x and third y, and then we'll close our path. Then we'll fill And if our outline is not undefined, then we'll stroke. So let's go ahead and look at our shape again. So now we have a triangle shape. And in our simple draw, we'll go ahead and load Triangle shape. And let's add a triangle shape to our picture. Let's make it the second one. So this is going to be a triangle. And uh, so make this yellow with a blue outline. And we'll start this one at point 8. And it should be everything. So we touched simple draw, we touched shape, and we created a new triangle shape. Okay, so a little problem. Oh, did I save that? Uh, I uh, mistyped it, so it should be triangle shape, typo, get rid of that breakpoint from before, and continue, oh, we forgot to add, our, add to our shape factory method. Now we could actually make these functions here, our constructors, properties of the shape type object. So let's look at doing that in a second. Okay, so now we have our yellow triangle. Now there's no particular reason these have to be numbers. They can be functions as well. So I can make rectangle the rectangle shape, the function that constructs them, and circle shape. triangle shape. As long as they're all different, and they are, this will work perfectly fine. And then instead of having to switch on this, I can just say return new properties dot type properties. See if that works. Not quite. So we have to change the order a little bit, our load order, because So let's go ahead and define shape type in a separate file that gets loaded after these things are defined. So I'm going to create a new file, and we'll save this as 
shape type dot js and we'll include that here at the end. So let's go ahead and try it now. And it works. Yay. OK, so now we don't actually have to do anything much to our factory method. We just have to make sure that our shape type array is updated. Our shape type object is updated. And let's go ahead and add one more type of object. Let's go ahead and add a square. So go ahead and define a square. And we need a new constructor for that. So what is a square? A square is just a rectangle that has the uh, same width and height. So let's go ahead and define our constructor. And it's going to take properties as usual. And all it's going to do is it's going to modify this properties object and then create a square object. So m super is equal to new rectangle shape. And then I want to modify properties before I pass it in. So let's go properties.width is equal to properties.size and properties.height is equal to properties.size. So now I'm going to define a draw method. And all it's going to do is called m super dot draw. So it's basically just delegating everything to the parent. And we'll save that as square shape dot js. And I'll go ahead and set the inheritance relationship here. So my shape, uh, everything is the same now. Nothing needs to change here. Shape type is correct. Let's go ahead and load the square shape. And we'll add a square shape to our scene. And green, yellow, blue, red, green, square, and uh, instead of width and height, this just takes a size. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to make this one 0.3 by 0.2 just so that it's obvious that this one's a rectangle and this one is a square. And let's go ahead and try it and see if it worked. Oh, I forgot to set the Y position, so let's make that 0.8. Good. So I have my square, which is actually square if the screen is in square aspect ratio. So See, 321 by 321, this is square, and that's rectangular, and everything looks good. 
So uh, just have one other fun thing that I want to do. Um, I have a uh, file under test called picture.js and I'm going to save that into my simple draw folder and I'm just going to call it picture with a lowercase p because it's just setting the value of the variable and then here in my simple draw I'm going to get rid of this entirely and I'm going to load my picture.js file instead. And let's see if this works. Ooh, beautiful artwork. Well, I never really said I was an artist, but so let's look at this. Um, let's go ahead and open picture.js. So it's just a data definition for that scene that we looked at. 